guys welcome to paul blocks garage uh we're in mexico right now we'll try to get a zero to 60 time in um the temperatures are about 88 degrees uh my ambient air temperature on my intake is probably around i think it was around 98 so about nine or ten uh degrees over what ambient air temperature is outside and I got these new 10.5 Hellcat reps on the back wheels that I bought and put these 315 3520 Cosmo tires on here. But I did notice my gauge are saying air pressures is, is like 41 or 42 pounds, which probably needs to be about 28 pounds to get maximum traction. But I'm holding the camera and doing this run at the same time. So I'm going to just put it in drive because I'm holding the camera and it's really hard to change the gears. Uh, hole in the camera and uh, I'm just gonna let it change and you know, hopefully Trash control doesn't engage But anyway, here we go All right, I think that was a wasn't the best of time i kind of like when i do these runs i like to do them where i shift it manually because i can hold the gears more but i think that was a 5.3 which is you know okay it's not some of my best times but uh it looks like a 5.39 you can see there and that's just kind of i didn't really you know come off the line hard i just kind of eased into the throttle and I did spin a little bit, but not a whole lot. But whenever I change the gear manually, I can hold it in the gears better. And I uh, shifted, you know, pretty pretty accurate. And uh, to get a best time, the best time I've ever had is a 4.3. And it was the, the outside uh, temperature was in the 40s. And I think my ambient intake temperature, according to my Diablo, was around 55. And I ran, I've run a bunch of like 4.5s, 4.6s, 4.8s, 4.9s, and you know in low fives but for the little of mods that i have done to this car that's not really that bad of a time i mean i've seen scat pack 392s with uh moderate bolt-ons that's not done that well even with neato drag radials on it and uh but the car really you know needs some headers probably needs a cam and a, a really good jay green tune and uh you know i could probably see some you know a lot of low fours with those bolt-ons i've seen other cars that you know other challengers with the same bolt-ons that i just mentioned get those times but anyway i mean that was just one quick pull in uh mexico i just wanted to see where i'm at because like i said i just put these 10.5 wheels on here and uh and then the uh 315 tires and i wanted to see what it's doing uh with those on there and as you can see it's a 539 which you know ain't too bad but it's not it's not one of my best runs but anyway this paul barks garage i hope you know some of my content i know has been lacking lately it's just returning back to work and um you know working a lot and i've been trying to do as much as i can to be entertaining and i've actually got a few videos of uh, some of the things i've done to the car that are quite long i'm trying to edit some of that out so you don't get bored but uh anyway that's a 5.39 and that's a zero to 60 pull according to uh my diablo uh ex platinum tuner but uh anyway this is paul Blarch garage hope this is entertaining like and subscribe peace out bye all right guys welcome to paul Blarch garage <clears throat> somewhere out in mexico and i uh, wanted to try to get a uh, zero to 60 run in um I got new wheels and tires, which if you watched any of my videos lately, you'll see where I did a video on um, the tires and wheels that I combo that I went with, which was different than what I had last year. And a lot water tire went from a 295 tire to a 315 tire, and I went from a 30, 45 sidewall to a 35 sidewall. And it's a performance tire from Cosmos. It's a Cosmos tire, and I got it from Priority Tire off eBay. But uh, Anyway, we're gonna to try to do a zero to 60 time here in Mexico. I'm gonna hopefully remember to change gears this time. And I'm gonna to try to get this run in uh, whenever everything gets cleared down on the other end of the road. Uh, 
but I do believe I am in a safe area to do it in, not putting anybody but myself at risk. But uh, anyway, without further ado, let's get it on. Wait for this car to get on down, down there. And here we go. started the clock before I actually went and uh, probably been better I guess it sounds like an excuse maybe it is but uh, I would do more but there's just so much traffic out here in Mexico it's really hard to get them in because of all the traffic out here right now because uh, every, everywhere from where I'm at around me you know you have the riding and then everything going on and uh, you got people that are coming to where I live at around the area I live at because of the beaches and, and uh, stuff and because their areas are closed or they're riding or tearing or looting out where all these other people are and, and they're all coming here because it's one of the 12 states in the United States that's not being looted, pillaged and, uh, and uh, uh, you know, have riding and stuff going on. I don't know what's going on, but uh, anyway, enough of that. But I'm trying to see, get to where I can see this run. Uh, before I put these wheels and tires on here and I got ready to change wheels and tires, I was in the 4.7s, 4.6s, 4.8s, 4.9s to the 0 to 60 time. And, uh, and it's, since I've put these new tires on here, it's been kind of hard for me to gauge because I thought with a wider tire, you know, I wouldn't have to let any of the air out and I wouldn't have to feather it as much. And uh, so I found out the last couple runs I've done that, you know, it doesn't matter how much I feathered it's still spinning these tires off and uh, I'm probably gonna have to go with an NT05 or a 55R or something like that to, uh, so that I get traction but I think that was uh, let's see if I can get where I can get pulled over if that was a 5.3 which I think that's what I ran the last time around was a 5.3 but you know it was kind of feathering off the line because I was trying not to spin and I ended up spinning anyway and uh I know I'm spinning because I put my GoPro. I got suction cups where I can put GoPro mounted all over my car, and I put one on the side back here and kind of did a pull on it. And didn't do a time, but did a pull to see how bad they were spinning. And I couldn't hear them as bad as I did the 295s, but I, I was spinning bad. And uh, let me get parked here and we'll see exactly what time it was, which wasn't a good time. I'm not impressed with it at all. See what it is. Get my eyeballs out here. And it was a 5.2. Uh, yeah, it was a 5.2, which, you know, it's not that good of a time in my opinion, but it is what it is. I, I'm going to have to figure out what to do with these tires. Uh, I noticed that when I look at my, uh, you go into your, I think it's vehicle information see where your what your tire pressure sensors are telling you and uh, saying I have 40 pounds of pressure in the front tires and 36 pounds in the back so I think those tires if I'm not mistaken are 32 you're supposed to only have 32 pounds in there so I've checked on that but probably I need to let them down to about 25 pounds of, of air and see if I can get a little bit better bite but these are no these are not drag rails they're just a, a performance tire and uh, you know, every time I, I do these runs, since I've got these tires, because uh, I've not done very many runs with them, as I did with the 295s, I actually had a chance for a whole year, or nearly with the 295s, to kind of figure out what I need to do with those. But I'm still spinning these off, but you can't tell it as bad. You don't hear you don't hear a noise as bad, and uh, and I kind of gauge how bad I spin by what I can hear, and. Uh, but anyway, I, like I said, I put a GoPro back there and I could tell just from doing test runs that, you know, I was spinning. But, uh, you know, a 5.3 spinning with just a cold air kit, a Diablo tune, and a set of Flowmasters with straight pots, and, and that's it. You, you know, that's not that bad. Uh, I've seen people that's had superchargers on their pro chargers on these 5.7 liters, you know, with uh, headers and, and 
and uh, exhaust and stuff running uh, four sevens, four eights. There was a guy the other day that was on a website that was you know talking about he did some runs, and uh, of course he you know he had the uh, he had some tires on the back, but he didn't have drag radios, and he was on the street and he was running four sevens, four eight, four nines. So I was like, well, you know, either he's spending a whole lot, which he probably is, uh, or he's just learning how to drive the car with the supercharger, pro charger on. But uh, anyway. Um, that it is what it is but uh hopefully everybody's doing doing fine hopefully where you're at there's no looting and pillaging and you know people being idiots but uh anyway this is paul Barks garage i uh, hope this is entertaining and peace out bye